My name is Wendy Mann. I work at FAO. I'm the senior policy officer for our Climate Smart Agriculture Project, which is working in Malawi, Vietnam, and Zambia. Okay, gaps in climate smart agriculture implementation in African countries. Um, well, first of all, climate smart agriculture is an extremely um, new concept which grew out of experience in uh, sustainable agriculture, sustainable land management, work on payment for environmental services, PESH. Um, and I think FAO was one of the first organizations to, to start work on it and to define climate smart agriculture. So there's not a lot of experience or data in implementing uh, climate smart agriculture. But from our project so far, um, I think one of the difficulties, one of the challenges we're encountering is the integration of uh, climate change into the work of agricultural ministries is very, very slow. And therefore, policies and strategies and plans of action coming out of those ministries probably do not sufficiently incorporate uh, climate change, which inhibits what type of action will take place on the ground, which inhibits their participation in climate change institutional mechanisms within the country, and inhibits accessing um, climate uh, financing for um, climate smart ag agriculture. But I would add that Africa I, as a region has been the first to really express interest in, in climate smart agriculture and other organizations now are working more on climate smart agriculture and there's starting to have more of a critical mass within country of um, of looking at, at the different aspects, of creating the evidence base from, from data, which can underpin which type of climate smart agricultural options uh, are, are best or most promising uh, for the country in terms of their benefits and, uh, and costs. And, and here I, I would mention um, CCAFS has done a lot of work and also the NGO Fanerpan as we begin to, to implement more, we'll be more in a position to, to assess and evaluate what works and what doesn't. African, the, the group of African negotiate, negotiators and what type of work do they need. We do not work exactly with this group, but we have indirect links with them, for example, through COMESA. I know that they're now, they've now requested a, a technical paper on, on aspects of um, agriculture and climate change, and I will be a reviewer for one of the chapters, the chapter on, on, on mitigation. Um, but I think certainly an understanding of the technical issues can, can help them to be a, in a position to negotiate um, from a position of strength, because they know the, they know the facts. And I know CCAFs and COMESA are, are, have done a lot to, to help this group, and, and we're happy through them to also support their work.